Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. It's uh, another great day here in Okaboji, despite all the circumstances. We're going to be talking with uh, Tyler Adams, who's a senior at Okaboji High School, in just a moment. But Okaboji Broadcast is being brought to us by Duckies Marine and Motor Sports, uh, Sports Repair in Spirit Lake, Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner, Brands Law Office in Spirit Lake, Synergy Chiropractic and Acupuncture in Okaboji, Bloom and Leonard Agency in Esterville, an H&P agency with office in Sibley and Rock Rapids, Ruth Van Locker in Spirit Lake, Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake, and B Radiant Laser Skin Studio on Highway 71 in Spirit Lake. Well, Tyler, thank you for taking some time uh, to talk with us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. My goodness, uh, you know, uh, we were talking a little bit before we got going, and you know, you get to talk to the people at the hospital and uh, Dickinson County Emergency Management and state representatives on how we're dealing with all this. And you know, we we haven't talked enough about our students in school and especially high school seniors. This is Tyler. This is your year. I mean, you look forward to this from certainly from the time you're a, a freshman in high school. And this is always the senior's year. You rule the school. And, and so do you, do you feel a disappointment with all this? Uh, yeah, you know, it's definitely disappointing and tough as uh, it's not the way we imagined our senior year to end. And uh, obviously it's a really difficult situation, but we just have to make the best of it. And, um, you know, it's, it's a disappointing to have things canceled like sports and uh, stuff like that. But when you think about uh, the magnitude of people dying and fighting for their lives in the hospital, things like graduation and stuff like that becomes uh, not as big of a deal. Yeah. Now, do you stay in contact with your, with your friends? Are you doing the social distancing thing, Tyler? Or how are you staying in contact with those that you've been closest with through your schooling? Yeah, so I am social distancing. Um, I haven't seen my friends since school got uh, shut down. Yeah. Um, but uh, we stay in contact through, you know, just like te texting, uh, FaceTiming. Uh, we all love to play video games, so we play video games a lot and we can talk through there. Yeah. When you talk to them, do you, do you get similar feelings to your own? Do you find some that are really despondent over school not be going on and, and missing out on some of these things you would do your senior year? Yeah, we all pretty much have the same feelings of, uh, you know, disappointment and uh, just wishing that it was different circumstances. But again, you know, we understand the nature of this and uh, how things need to be uh, taken seriously. Yeah, well, I tell you, that's very mature of all of you because uh, it's been hard on uh, not just uh, students, but uh, adults alike, the, the feeling of isolation and so forth. And I, I think of you and, and, you know, coming off a great basketball year and, and probably looking forward to spring sports. And, you know, you got your senior prom and, and walking across that stage for graduation. To have that all disrupted, there's got to be a feeling of, oh, boy, I wish we could still do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's uh, it was just a shock to hear everything, you know, when it gets canceled. And obviously we wish we could do that. Um, but... It, uh, you just got to make the best of the situation that's been given to us, and uh, hopefully they can find a time to reschedule those things. Yeah. But um, if not, we just hope for the best, and obviously we want everyone to stay healthy and safe. Yes, indeed. How did you initially react? I, I think back to my uh, senior year in high school, if they would have said uh, school's off for a while, and, and keep in mind this is like a thousand years ago, I graduated <laughs> from high school, but uh, uh, my initial uh, reaction probably would have been, all right, <laughs> you know, but uh, uh, then when you hear the the length of time, it, it all comes kind of crashing down mm -hmm. on you. Yeah, yeah. You know, at first it was it was just so so shocking because uh, that was probably the first event that directly affected me with this whole coronavirus thing. So it uh, it kind of made it more real, you know. And then uh, ever since that happened, things have gone downhill since. But, um, yeah, you know, the first couple of days are, just, you know, nice. It's a break off of school. But after that, you just get bored. Yeah. And you wish you were at school with your friends. And then online classes start. And I feel like those are harder than the normal classes. And uh, it's so much harder to stay focused. But, uh, yeah, now we wish we were at school. Yeah. So what are you doing to continue 
uh, studies classes that you were in the midst of taking your senior year in high school? Are you continuing anything like, you know, talk about online or other courses or how do you do in it? So all of our college classes that were taken either through teachers at the high school for college credits or online classes uh, are still going on as normal. Okay. Um, the ones that were taught in-house at Okoboji are now going online. So we either have uh, Zoom meetings with teachers or they will share out videos going through lectures and assign homework through different um, websites and stuff like that. And then... Um, Non-college credit classes will share out stuff to do, and uh, I'm assuming within the next couple of weeks, you know, if, if we don't go back to school, that the, all the classes will be going online. Yeah, okay. Um, are you remaining active? I mean, you're, you're an athlete, you're an active young man. Uh, are you getting out, running, walking, uh, besides playing the video games, of course? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, it's definitely nice to get out and do something uh, you know, whether it's just lifting any weights we have around here, um, we have an exercise bike, so I've been using that, or, you know, going out for walks and runs, and uh, just, yeah, it's, it's nice to stay active. Yeah, challenge your dad to a push-up contest. That'll make you feel fantastic. <laughs> I don't think he would like that. I don't think he would either. <laughs> so what's your plans for the fall, Tyler? What are you looking at uh, doing? Uh, you got choices of schools you're kind of looking at? Yeah, I've got it narrowed down to uh, Northwestern College, North City, uh, Wartburg, and Waverly, and Iowa State University, and uh, hope to make a decision here pretty soon, but it's hard because we can't go visit schools. So Yeah, and you just had a virtual tour uh, just before we did this here today, so that's a great, you know, thank goodness for uh, the technology we have today that uh, you can see a virtual tour of a campus you're looking at, and it's better to step on there personally, but at least there's that. Yeah, it's definitely better than uh, not being able to see anything uh, yeah. on the campus, so yeah, that's nice. All right, Tyler, well, is, is there anything that you'd like to say to your fellow classmates, uh, the, the class of 2020 for Okoboji <laughs> High School, that you'd just like to throw out there to them? Um, just stay home and stay safe. Very good. Good words for all of us to adhere to, Tyler. Well, I thank you for taking time with us, and... Uh, Make the most of your time that you have here at home, and, and you stay safe as well. And it's just been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Our guest has been Tyler Adams. He is a senior at Okoboji High School talking about the closure of schools here for our seniors in the area. We thank him for being with us. We thank you for watching us right here on Okoboji Broadcast.